Gain access to your front differential by removing the skid plates and then take a good look at it to determine which of the two available uh, differentials you have in your vehicle. There's an AAM and a GM. Uh, the AAM differential has a more protruded uh, front differential cover uh, where the ring gear protrudes out a little bit more and uh, you'll need to know that so you order the correct fluid when you do this service which I have uh, posted a little bit later then just remove the the fill plug make sure the o-ring comes off and then I'm using a fluid extractor just a manually operated kind of vacuum extractor stick the siphon tube down into the differential and start pumping and uh, it'll create suction and begin to flow and then over time you'll start to see some bubbles so then you adjust the uh, pickup tube there either down or up to make sure you're getting all the fluid out and I went a little too far so backing it out actually uh, allowed me to extract a little more fluid until I was able to get all of it out and I had nothing but suction I knew that I uh, You've got all the fluid out and then uh, if you'd like you can dump the fluid into a clear bin uh, to get a good look at it and also kind of get an idea of quantity uh, that you pulled out and then depending on the type of differential you had American Axle Manufacturing or GM uh, the capacity is a little different the ring gears are different sizes an 8 inch and an 8.5 and inch on the GM um, and they call for different fluids so uh, both of them will take at least a quart so pump that in and then on this one it needed an additional 0.1 quarts and so uh, I emptied the one bottle got the remnants out of the empty bottle into the new bottle and then pumped in another you know what I guess to be 0.1 quarts but in either case with either differential you can verify the fluid level by sticking your finger in and you want the fluid to be just below the fill hole um, maybe a quarter an inch or so uh, so that the fluid has room to expand without cavitating or overpressuring um, the sills in the front differential and then uh, put the fill plug back on your skid plates back on clean up everything and that's a simple service for a front differential on this you know 2019 to 2023 GM. Hope you found this useful. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like and subscribe.